Hello everyone, welcome to the Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. This is going to be the last trip to the plateau to get sand. And that's what we're doing. Uh, slight miscommunication. I thought they were just going to get enough sand to keep busy today. Because the sand and the rock is supposed to be coming tonight. But, oh well, we'll have extra. It's not like it's ever going to go to waste. So the guys are up here uh, getting sand, putting it in bags. And if the other if the other delivery isn't made, it's getting kind of late today, so I guess it's not going to show up. So at least they'll have enough to keep busy tomorrow, for whenever it shows up tomorrow. We we are thought I got ten bags of rock, and I don't know. I guess we'll end up with twenty bags of sand or so. So uh, it'll be plenty for them to keep busy on. And as you can see, this this plateau is a bit overgrown from what you guys might remember. If you go back and look at some older videos, this was slick and clean up here, all the way to the edge. And it doesn't take, even even in a sand pile, it doesn't take long for the jungle to reclaim what, uh, what belongs to the jungle. Now some of these areas, right in the middle of the sand here, it hasn't taken a big foothold. Brian, how much topsoil did you have to knock off, like, to get this? Well, how much topsoil did you take? Uh, right here where we're standing, it was about six feet. Oh, six feet, okay. Yeah. Uh, less, less as we, probably where that black dog is right there. Uh, there's probably ten feet of fill. Yeah. Yeah. Because we didn't gain that much area. I mean, we took down six, five, four, three in the top here, but we were adding, I'm not even gonna walk over there now. Uh, the edge of this plateau is probably a 15 foot elevation from the rice field. And it was a, it was a steady slope down to the rice field. So we just flattened this off and and gained, I don't know, maybe 25% of this area up here as, as, as square meters. But we had to move a lot of dirt. And it wasn't that, because uh, see it was say, six feet where that young man is standing, but then the elevation changed and it was only, you know, that six feet, digging down that six, six feet where he is, you're still in topsoil over here. So it was just a, it was a cover of topsoil everywhere, about 18 inches deep. Okay. So it's mixed. What's been pushed off the edge there is mixed sand and uh, topsoil. <laughs> now how deep this sand goes where they're digging, that's anybody's guess. Probably, we're at uh, 45 feet above sea level right here. Okay. So this could be 50 feet deep. Because this is beach sand. This is yeah. where the ocean was some eon in the past. Yeah. And it's been here so long that some of it's even trying to turn into limestone. And then we need to take your shack there and we need to move if, it to the fish If farm. only we could. <laughs> Did you ever have a good look at this? Uh, only through the window there. Uh, I, don't, I don't have the key with me, so it's still going to be only through the window. In a perfect, financially healed world, this is yeah, but we're gonna not even this one. big, but something this big, yeah. close to this big, at the shrimp pond. To, to store what not in, mm -hmm. and to sleep in, uh, a little sanctuary. I think this is 10 or 12 by 16. I forget the exact dimensions. It's been a long time. Mm -hmm. But you can see it has held up well, very durable. The construction was done good. Even the door is still there. So. How deep did you put it? Did you they're they dug down deep? no, they're one hollow block deep. Really? And on sand? Yeah. <laughs> but as you can see, there's no structural cracking. 
other than the other than the rendering. And it's held up well. But there was a there was a good amount of steel put in this as well. That's the secret. That's the secret. Yeah, I would I would be very happy if we had this. Then we could start leaving stuff there instead of hiking it in. So when we were at Consings the other day, I, you guys may have noticed on the video that there was a procession of people. It was uh, San Vicente something, <clears throat> and they were walking up a hill going to a chapel. That's the chapel right there. That's the chapel of San Vicente or whatever. So if you go to the right about 200 meters, so it's basically straight in this direction, that much distance away, that's Consing's place. So she, in a straight line, she lives about, what is that, a kilometer? Yeah, a kilometer and a half. It's hard to gauge the deal of elevation. Yeah, yeah. So call it a kilometer. Yeah. yeah. So that's how that's how far away Consing lives. But it's her her house is that direction. Is that an actual chapel, like a church, yeah. or is it a shrine? It's a I don't know if it's a shrine or a chapel. So every every Sunday they get together and do a mass. No, thing. it's like a, it's San, it's San Vicente. Yeah. So it's like uh, I don't know. I'm not Catholic, so I, I'm not privy to. All the goings on, but no, it is what it is. I'm not Catholic. I just I just marry them, but I don't know. I'm not Catholic. Myself. Yeah, I'm not even going to tell Tata to to go off to the side. He's already taken most of it uh, up to the top. If if I if I had been if it had been me driving, I would have just backed it in and unloaded the sand right next to the hollow blocks. But Tata has been taking it up next to the <laughs> chick room where it has to be wheelbarrowed down a hundred feet downhill in order to be used. I just, I don't know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get on his case. He's keeping the boys working. He's keeping the boys working, yeah. But he's just making more work for them. So that's the plateau. Is this, is this the one you got for a rafting system up here? Just those two by fours? Well, whatever the hell you can. That's it. There are, well, there's some crosses inside. Yeah. There are some cross beams inside. Yeah, 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 but, but yeah, those three main ones are it. And it doesn't leak in there? Nope. Well, that's as simple as it gets. Well, you can see on the side here, these go, these go all the way through. Like a nice simple structure like this. Like I'm a fan of simple structures. And this was right at 60,000 pesos. Yeah. How long did it take? I uh, had a crew of four or five up here. This was before Tatai came. It took a couple weeks, two or three weeks. I was not pleased with the progress, but it, it you know, it, it, was, it is what it is. It looks like somebody tried to bash that. Yeah, it, was, it looks like someone might have, to, might have tried to get in. Was there anything in there? Uh, Just all your gold and your silver? <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't remember anything being in there that's worth anything. And good luck to them trying to get in through that because it, <laughs> yeah. it's not big enough for a person. Well, you might scram, cram a kid in there, but then what's he going to do? He's not, you know, anybody big enough to get through that opening isn't big enough to lift something and, and get it out. So uh, that's why that's, that was the purpose of making that small window. And that form bar, there's form bar in all these blocks and all the hollow blocks. You're not. That's good. You could get into this building if you really had your mind set on it, but uh, it would take some time, and the it dogs would hear you. That's probably what happened right here. The dogs heard somebody bashing around up here and paid them a visit, and they they that's went good. they went and did something else. I can't remember. I think we took everything out of here. Yeah, there's nothing in there. So it's just it's just empty anyway. Probably some kids up to up to no good. Alrighty everyone. Please like, comment, share and subscribe.